Gomez. And I'm Wesley. The sweet spud loon. <laughs> the loon. He's a sweet spud. Oh, that's right. I'm a sweet spud. <laughs> so, guys, today we are going to do it. It's a it's a it's treat. a different type of spud we're talking about. Though. It's a sweet one. <laughs> we're so clever. Let's tell them what we're doing. We are doing our crosshatch cross sweet, sweet potato, potato chips. chips. Yes. Cross hatch Sweet potato chips. So, so this is one of those things. We were traveling th through the, the states long, not too long ago. I think going from South Dakota to Dallas. And we yeah. stopped in a Omaha. year old stomping grounds of Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, the old market. And they have this really cool, I'd never been there before. They have this really cool like section of like awesome restaurants yeah, and bars market. and pubs. And so we went into this kind of like, well, you know what they call a gastro pub. And we ordered something similar to this. This was a few years ago. And I just... I couldn't believe how good it was. Yeah, and delicious. it's so simple. And this is one of those things that it's very, very few ingredients, and you just can't believe the taste. And yeah. it's so cool. So we're gonna. Well, let me tell you. We're gonna this. make some of these bad boys. We got some. We got some. Uh, cr these are sweet potato crosshatch uh, chips. <laughs> so let me tell you real quick. So the, actually, you show them. Yeah, first. let me show you how it is. <laughs> oh, so I you, just got all. Oh, oh, no. So anyway, <laughs> you do need a couple of tools to to do this. You don't have to do this on a mandolin, uh, but to get this crosshatch effect, you would need a. <laughs> Mandolin. Yeah. Well, you could just do them as chips and just very, very, oh, very sure. thinly slice them. Um, Which is. Yeah, but I've got a link where if you don't have one of these, these are not expensive. And I've used this thing so many, many, many times. Time. You can make french fries, you can do anything. Okay. All right. So let me just show you real quick. So, what you're going to want to do, there's a couple of, um, there's a blade here that um, usually you've got this side when you're just slicing, say, potatoes, um, or but you're going to flip it. This is the only time you ever use the, this side of the blade is when you're going to use the crosshatch function. Yes. Put your little dial over here. There's a little cross has function, and um, that's where you're going to do. So you you do that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. This is so cool. So you I've switch got, the blade for cross hatch. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Switch the blade for cross hatch, and then you get your sweet potato. And I've peeled this, and you're just going to cut off the end, so it's kind of got a nice flat surface to start with. Okay. Now you got to be careful because we all know yes. this is a, a blade, and you don't want to cut yourself. So you know use. Use caution. Okay, so now first what we're going to do, everyone can see this, okay? Yes. We're just gonna very swiftly, now that's the first one, do you see that? So you wanna discard this. This thing is magic. I'm telling you, not, I'm not even exactly sure how it works. <laughs> but then you turn it, 45, 45 degree angle, and you just do it again. And then you turn it at 45 degree, and do it again. And then another one, and you do it again. And wait till I show you. And be very careful. And be really careful. I mean, if you're, you know, don't. There's a guard there. Yeah, there so is. So when you get down close enough, you want to use well, that guard. You, yeah, so let me show you what we've done here. Let me get just a few more going. It's so much fun. <laughs> I, 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 Come on, I think that's okay. enough. So look at that. Look at the crosshatch right. I mean, the, obviously some of the ones they, they start, they get a little, but that's kind of the, the fun of them. They're they get perfect. A little, and, and then um, when you get some big boys, you get these. Yeah, once ones. you get down down to, further to the middle. And see, it just does that where it just creates that formation. And then you get these, formation. these yeah. big ones. And, and do like what I also, whenever I do start getting close to the blade, I'll, I'll cut this end if I can do that ahead of time. And then this has got like a little cap, and you just put that right there, and you use that to help guide the sweet potato <laughs> down. So you don't, we don't want any. All right, let's move. Accidents. Okay. Let's, let's dry these bad boys off. Well, let, first of all, let's say why they're soaking. So oh, sure. So we need to then, after we, so this was two large uh, sweet potatoes. And uh, what we did is then we just got a nice big bowl like this, and we filled it with water, and then we put that in there. What yeah. that does is it helps to remove the starch in the potatoes. So they get extra crispy. So they get extra. To maximize your crispiness. That's right. We want maximum <laughs> crispiness. Now make sure you get these good and dry because you don't want to put a bunch of wet chips into hot oil. Okay. Well, thanks for the pointer. <laughs> Well, excuse me, I'm in front of the in front of it, so <laughs> I, know, I want I know, to be careful. I know. I just, it is industrial true. massive fryer that we have He's here. So fascinated by that we giant. Oh, and so let me say, while I'm doing this, you can um, these. This is a very f quick fry, so it's a, almost like a flash fry. You can absolutely bake these, and you could also do these in your air fryer. They're super delicious. I have the method of doing that in the body of the blog post. So if you prefer that method, you can also do this in a skillet with just some oil in there, you don't have to have a deep fryer. Uh, but what if you do deep fry it, which is kind of our favorite, then um, get your oil to 350 degrees is what we find works. Yes. Okay, we'll just go ahead and put them yeah. in the basket. You don't have if you don't have a basket, you can just 
drop them in. Uh, just be very, very careful. Oh, would you get me a tongs on it? So I can make yes. sure that these are not. Yes. All right. Okay, we are ready to start cooking. Yeah. Let me just, let me get you those tongs real quick. Please, thank yeah. you very kindly. And I'm gonna just drop these down here into that. We the, have it set at 350. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. I know, it's so cool. So now, now tell him about while he's doing that, I'm gonna tell you about it. We these. love, <laughs> we can never leave anything alone, <laughs> but these really do have, are great with some sort of a dipping sauce. Whatever you like, even just ketchup is good. But, you know, we love to do this, what I call my kicking remoulade. Is this a good place to put it, Wesley? Um, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you how I made this. It's so easy. I just get a nice um, medium-sized bowl, and I put a cup of good old quality mayonnaise in there. And then to that, I add two tablespoons. I love Creole whole grain Ooh, mustard. Yes. If you can't Spicy. find Creole, then get just regular whole grain mustard. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of ketchup. Again, we like a little heat in this, so we did, we've did. we got some sriracha carrot, uh, ketchup that you can get from mm, the store. I love it. But love just it, love regular it. ketchup will work as well. And then to that, we added a teaspoon of oh, my favorite thing in the world, smoked paprika. And then we really started amping up the flavors and we got two cloves of garlic and minced them, added that to the party, got a nice sized bunch of scallions, and I just roughly chopped those, and you're gonna want about a half a cup. Um, and then add those into the party. And then I got some fresh parsley, and I did a fresh chop, or a chop of about a quarter cup and added that. Am I leaving anything out? And then I added a pinch of pepper and a uh, pinch of garlic. salt. Did you talk about the garlic? I talked about the garlic. Mm -hmm. And then finish it off with a few splashes of, of hot our sauce. favorite Louisiana hot sauce. Yes. I do about a teaspoon. This has a little bit of heat to it, but not too much. Anyway, then you get a fork and you just stir that together until it's fully incorporated, and then you chill it, and it's good to go. We've got it in this little jar, and it is really, really and it's so good. It's so great. And it's, it, I mean, when you dip these chips into it, because that sweet potato uh, is a nice sweet flavor, and then you got this kick and romelade, 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 whatever it is. <laughs> oh Look at those. Okay. okay. So now they're they're gonna start they they'll start to brown a little bit and they're just like you know, so many things when you yeah. deep fry or like corn tortillas you think oh I don't I think they haven't gone long enough or maybe I thought they've gone too long you'll know when they're yeah. ready they're gonna get nice and crisp they they still have a, just a little bit of a I think um, a softness to yeah. them I and then we, they firm up as they as they dry I think we need to let these still go for a little bit okay we're gonna let those go for just a, a couple minutes then and then we're gonna finish those off and then we're gonna take them out and dry them off here though right. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay. All right. Oh, That's these look back. beautiful. So, all right. So, see, look, they're golden brown. That's golden the way you want. Golden brown. Oh, so delicious. All right. Shake now, it off. Shake it shake off. Shake it off, baby. Okay. Now we're just going to <laughs> sprinkle the or put these right here. Yay! Oh, these are great. These are what I love about them is they are they have a, an interesting. Texture, okay, so this, and then I just, fresh out of the oil, hit them with a little, I love coarse sea salt, it just has a little texture to it. And that, folks, is all there I is to it. I love it. But what I was saying is that there's, there, I'm just gonna transfer this right over here to oh, this. perfect. To the, our little serving platter. Um, oh, isn't that great? Let me tell you, no gastropub has anything on us. <laughs> um, but they really have an awesome texture to them. They're not like, you know, like, Super overly crispy, like a potato chip, so right. much. Um, but they're, they're crunchy. But I just love the texture. Here we go. Okay, we've made a little bit of a mess. A little mess, but look at that. But that's so awesome. <gasps> I love this so much. Okay, well, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I would normally eat it over here, but I can't because of my whatchamacallit. Your whatchamacallit. I'm going to try it here. <laughs> Ooh. Hear the crunch? <laughs> Those are so good. Isn't it? I remember the, when I first made these. Wow. I, well, no. it, it's just the, it's just sweet potato. I mean, some you could season it with more stuff, but it doesn't need it. I mean, of course, the remoulade is. I love that. Oh, that is so good. Isn't that? And it's like a that great remoulade. I love the sriracha in that. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little bit of heat. These are one hundred percent. I'm like, would you shut up so I could say this? These are 100% Luna proof. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This, oh, it's so good. This is they're so festive and I just, you know, and they're easy and like I said, if you want to bake them, no problem. Mm, so good. Wow. That is going to take that that's it's like a superstar dish 
that you would serve, and it's so easy. It's oh my so gosh. good. Now you can get this recipe and many more oh, on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. And go to our social media, like us, share us, do all of that, and make sweet potato crosshatch chips. Yes. And be happy. And be safe. And we love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>